Well, I guess we learned from all sorts of, our, our influences are manifest, they're enormous. You're influenced by every performer you see. I used to think when I was very young, I thought uh, <clears throat> there was a show out of Toronto called Woodhouse and Hawkins. And I thought that they were terrific. And Alan Young, when I was very young, Alan Young. Mr. Ed. Mr. Ed. Yeah. He was on radio, and he had a regular radio show. It was done in the Hotel Vancouver, and, and I used to go down and see that. And, and his sidekick in it was Bernie Braden who ended up working as a character called the Old Timer on the Wayne and Schuster show. And then he went to England from Toronto and got a show going on the uh, a radio over there called Breakfast with Braden. And then there was Bedtime with Braden. And uh, he was rolling. He, he did wow. extremely well. You He's must not have, well, very well known here. But. You must have worked with Norman Jewison. Uh, oh, yeah. The very first television show I ever did in my life, I was playing the member for Kicking Horse Pass, and it was very difficult because the thing about attitudes in Toronto, especially, well, just just maybe it's a Canadian thing. They, in the early days, they didn't see the importance of a studio audience at all. They had little collapsible bleachers in the corners of the studio that they could open up and sit very uncomfortably to watch a, a performance and they didn't they, they didn't get it whereas I got to give credit to the Americans when they went into television they immediately started to use the theaters that were already there putting camera ramps into these very comfortable theaters yeah. and that's what they did all the studios in New York were former theaters and still theaters, they're still there. And, but they understood the value of a hot, responsive studio audience. Here, they just didn't seem to get it. I, I, I was so frustrated with that, that not only, uh, I remember the, the head of the corporation saying something, we are not in show business. Uh, we are in, in the entertainment business, you know, uh, as if there was something degrading about being in show business. Anyway, that was not there. And I, my first television appearance, thank God, Norman Jewison was the studio director. And he came and he put his cheek right up against the side of the camera and was beaming at me all through my piece, you know. Uh. To, to, to make me feel good and be like as if there was an audience there responding and he was laughing and and but right that tight so that I was almost looking at him and uh, that what got me through it.